In this tutorial, I'd like to show you Shadow Type from SquidFX. Shadow Type is an elegant set of titles and lower thirds for your projects. The subtle lighting complements a wide range of fonts and genres, and the 12 included presets help to speed up your workflow. Shadow Type was designed exclusively for Final Cut Pro 10. You can find it in the Titles browser under Squid Effects Shadow Type. Let's take a look at some of the presets. For our first example, I'll drag the stripe effect on top of the image on my timeline. The standard shadow type duration is the minimum needed to play the build-in and build-out animations included in the effect. It's likely you'll want to extend the duration so the title has a few seconds to rest before fading off. If you click and drag the effect in the viewer, you can position it independent of the background wherever you'd like. You can also double-click the text to input your own. Clicking on the text button in the parameters will allow you to edit your text further. As you can see, shadow type looks great with a variety of fonts and can fit perfectly with almost any project. Over in the title parameters, you have an option to exclude the build-in, build-out animation. Using the next drop-down menu, you have some options for how you'd like the background to behave. Next, you can choose how you'd like the text to animate in and out. Use the sliders to easily adjust the text size, tracking, and shadow opacity. Toggle the checkbox to reverse the shadows. You can adjust the background opacity and adjust its height and offset. To finish off the look, you can use the color palettes to customize the background, shadow, and text color to suit your needs. Next, we'll look at the drop zone effect. This is perfect for a clean, great looking logo animation. Here, you have the same options in the parameters in addition to some drop zone controls. First, click the drop zone image well to add your custom image. You can lower the background opacity slider to reveal your own background. You can adjust the position and size of your custom image. Unchecking the Tint Drop Zone checkbox will allow the original colors of the image to come through, or you may leave it checked and change the tint color to suit your needs. Lastly, we're going to check out the full screen Two Lines effect. We're going to use the background color from the effect to tone down the values in the clip. First, I'll lower the background opacity and change the color. Next, I'll adjust the text line 2 and dividing line color to a lighter gray. Finally, I'll dial up the shadow opacity to 100%. As you can see, Shadow Type from SquidFX is an excellent, easy to use addition to any editor's toolbox that can really make your projects pop. Use one of the presets for a quick and easy animation, or customize it yourself for some awesome results. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great effects, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at fxfactory.com.